Hi, Gemini's. So, what's up, guys? Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and they may or may not resonate. Take with us, leave the rest. Also, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, follow me on Instagram or get a $10 Q&A. The uh, information that you would be looking for is in the comment section. Check it out. Okay, so. I'm sick, you guys. That's probably, if you are feeling my energy, be a little low. Wedding, it says this situation involves marriage. Oh, shit. Who's married here? If you're not married, who's in a serious ass fucking relationship? It says give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So there's someone that you need to uh take another look at. I feel like this person wants to marry you if you guys aren't already married. If you people who are married, then you would wanna maybe try to work on this. Yeah, but pay attention to the red flag. So there's some shit going on too though. That you need to pay attention to past life relationship but there is a banging ass connection between you two okay so maybe you guys were even married in a past life like it's like you guys keep coming together because this is just what y'all are supposed to do this might be a karma for you that comes back every fucking time because you don't learn a lesson no fucking time <laughs> okay so let's see Spirit, could you please tell me what's going on? Spirit, could you please tell me what's going on? When Gemini's? What's going on with Gemini's? Look at this, a soulmate. This is you possibly thinking about uh, shit that happened in the past with this person. Yeah, things that make you happy with this person. You're, you're getting nostalgia about this person. And you're thinking about a lot of shit and a lot of reasons why they make you happy. And now, if you guys are separated or if you guys have been distant, you're thinking about coming back towards this person. Yeah, something about your intuition is telling you that you need to reach out to this person. But you might have blocked them or they blocked you. Or they're just very defensive right now. Yeah, I feel like you might have blocked this person because you're tired of this person and what the fuck they do to you. Three of Cups, though. This person wants to come back. Alright, Spirit. What's going on? Where is, why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, this person still wants to be in his relationship, but you've moved on. You might be happy somewhere else. Yeah, I feel like you might be getting offers from other people. Oh my God, I'm getting sick. And with the Two of Pentacles, you're trying to decide who you want to deal with next. I feel like this person at this point has done too much. They give you a fucking headache. This person is nothing but fucking conflict. And you're looking for something new and passionate here. And you're going to get it. Yeah. I feel like there's growth elsewhere for you. Yeah. I think your intuition already led you to break this off. You might have already completely gave this person their walking papers and blocked them. But this person is still indecisive. They can't stop thinking about you. They can, they think about you all the time. I heard I can't get you out of my head. Yeah, they love you. They want this relationship with you. They're ready to balance the situation out. They want to come back. Six of Cups here. They look at you like somebody that they want to be with forever. Yeah, they're ready to run back towards you. They might be trying to send you messages, but you block, you block them. Or you could be trying to send them messages, but they blocked you. I doubt it, though. I feel like you're the blocker. You're the one that said, I can't do this anymore. Okay, so let's get the outcome. Spirit, please give me the outcome. What is the outcome for Gemini? Thank you. I see you taking charge. I see you standing in your power. I see you even being a little bit of an asshole to this person. Maybe you're going to keep that block on because you feel like this motherfucker wanted to play with you. So now you're going to play. Cool. Yeah. But you are still very passionate about this person. Single as fuck though. You single as fuck and you got options. It's like you could choose to do whoever or whatever you want. Yeah. Ten of swords. It's like, but I feel like that might come to an end in some. You might wind up in another relationship fast as hell. Yeah, I see you walking away from singlehood. 
Yep. You might reconcile with this person or you might meet someone else. I feel like you, you, you're going to have both for a second. I feel like you might wind up having a new person and the old person still. But there's some weight involved in either meeting a new person or coming back to this old person. And Spirit, what is the advice? Follow your intuition. Take your time. Don't rush things. Think about it and make up a decision about what you actually want to do. Because, yeah, you could have two people, but at the end of the day, you know that's not really going to work. You're going to wind up being labeled as a player. And then how the fuck are you going to get the stability that you want? <clears throat> All right, so let's get a card from the Rebel deck. And then I will free your energy. Spirit, please give me one card from the Rebel deck. Ooh, that already came out. Okay, it says, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your own ass. Buy your own damn drink. Okay? So maybe we need to calm down. Maybe you need to stop uh, being so afraid to make moves and just do you. Okay? Don't forget to take it easy, though. I feel like you guys are really being hard on yourselves right now because you really feel like you should let this person go, but you don't know how. It's a process. You do what the fuck you want to do until you're ready to do something else, all right? Bye, guys.